Before getting into the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a video. We can also use the min and max function over a list. Suppose we have a numerical list named numbers which is containing three elements which are 6, 60 and 2. And now if we wish to know what is the minimum value of list. So as we can see it is 2. We must get the output as 2. So using the min function we can get the output. So we will write print and then min and in it list name which is numbers here. And let us run this. So yeah it is 2. And similarly it goes for the max function. We will write print then max and then in the parenthesis write the list name which is numbers here again we run the code and see what is the output it is 60 now what if we wish to get the greatest difference of the elements present in the list so greatest difference is basically the difference of maximum element inside the list and the minimum element inside the list so let us define a function which gives us the greatest difference. So we'll write def, then space greatest difference, then inside it one parameter l, let's say, then colon. After that, it will return max l minus min l. That is difference of maximum element of list l minus minimum element of list l. Now let us call this function in order to call the function we will write greatest difference and we will give the list input as numbers since we have this list so we have print greatest difference and the list is numbers then close parenthesis and let us run this code so the output is 58 so basically the maximum element was 60 and the minimum element was 2 so 60 minus 2 is 58 thus we are getting the output as 58 as simple as that now let us switch to next topic that is tuples what are tuples tuples are used to store multiple items in a single variable just like we used to do in the case of list and a tuple is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable that is immutable like strings were immutable, similarly tuples are immutable. Tuple items are ordered and they also allow duplicate values. Now when we say ordered, it means that the items have a definite order and that order cannot be changed. And unchangeable means we cannot change or add, remove. We cannot perform these kind of operations on a tuple once created. and since tuples are indexed, tuples can have items with the same value. Let us consider the properties of tuples through an example which is, let us consider this tuple, this tuple which is equal to open bracket. Now in case of tuples we use simple brackets and now we write the elements apple, banana, cherry apple cherry separated by commas so when we run this program it is having two different apples in the same tuple now as i said that it can allow duplicates it does mean this that is we are having two different apple with different index which means we are having same value but their index number is different the first apple is at 0th position and the second apple occurs at 3rd index number. So this is how they allow duplicates. In order to find the length of a tuple we use the len function. The same way we used len function during string or in other cases. Now we will write print then open bracket len and then inside it tuple name which is this tuple as you run this we will get the length of the tuple which here is 5 now a question arises that can we create a tuple with a single item that is can we have only one item in a tuple 
so in this case if you want to define a tuple with only one item you will have to write this tuple is equal to then simple bracket open then inside it the element name which here we take apple then we write a comma after that and then close the bracket after that let us check the type of this tuple so we will as we used the type function in the previous lectures let us write print then type and inside it the name of the tuple so this tuple and then let us run this and see whether it is a tuple or not and okay now we are getting a tuple with one item and we have also checked its type and it is a tuple now we why we have to write the comma after that just in order to specify that it is a tuple now what if we don't write the comma there so like when we erase this or let's say we take it in another line that is this tuple one equal to apple again then without comma now in the next line write print then open bracket then write type then this tuple one close it and run the program so the second one is not a tuple instead it's a string right so this is the difference in order to define a tuple with single item and a string just like list tuples can be of any data type that is it can store string float int boolean whatever it is and it can also store all the other data types in one tuple let us consider this tuple 1 is equal to a b c a string comma 34 then boolean true then comma 40.0 comma a b d and then close it and run this so it is giving us no error which means it can store different data types right if you like this video hit the like button thank you